Make your message pop with the Neon Text Animation Template for Apple's Final Cut Pro. It's easy to customize with just a few clicks, so you can adjust it to suit your needs. And in your own text, change the fonts and make it yours in seconds. Light up any text with this template and let your videos shine. Hello, I will now show you how to use Neon Text inside of Final Cut Pro. The first thing you will do is we will go to the browser, then go to your Titles browser, and do a search for Neon Text. Once you have found it, just drag and drop it to your timeline. Now we can close the browser and open up the inspector. Instead of the inspector, we can now start to customize your Neon Text. The first thing we can do is we can turn on or off the build-in and the build-out animations. So if you don't want animations at the beginning or the end, you can turn them off. We can also change the text color to whatever color we need. To change the actual text, we can actually click on the actual text box and then we'll see the text inspector show a box where we can type out our text. We can also change the font to whatever font we need. If we need to change the spacing of the lines, we can do that by clicking on the first line and then just adjust the line spacing. So for this example, what I want to do is I want to make the second line smaller than the first. So I'm going to highlight the second line and I'm going to bring that number down. There we go. And what I also want to do is I want to change the color of some of the words to a different color. So I'm going to change the text color. I'm going to go down to where it says outline, click show, and then I can change the color to anything else that I want. And I also want to change the second line to a different color. I'm going to do the same, go down to outline, and now I have different colors on my animation. Now back to the text inspector, to whether my parameters are, I can change the glow amount. So if I wanted to add more glow to it, I can increase that or decrease it to whatever I want. I can also turn the reflection on or off and I can adjust the position of that reflection. Also, if I want the background to be transparent, right now it's using a colored background, so if I change the background, I can change it to whatever color I want to make it a different color. But if I want it to be transparent to show an image or a video, I can do that as well. So let me go here inside of my browser, I'm going to grab an image and put it right behind it, just so I can demonstrate this. And then I'll go into uh, my Publish Parameters, close the browser, and I'll turn on Transparent Background. And now we can see the background is transparent. Also, if you want to speed up your renders or if you want to speed up your playback, you might want to turn off the fog and the particles. What I recommend that you do while you're still setting up your edit is to have these off. And when you're finally ready to do the final render, you can turn them on when you're ready to do your final render. And that will speed up your render times. And that is how we use the neon text inside of Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you and have an amazing day.